Hello everybody, my name is Milo and welcome back to the Ripple Effect SMP server. You may have just seen behind me there, I've done some off camera work. We got two more domes! Um, first things first, my frames, whew, they're, they're not doing too good. I'm a bit worried how this is going to go uh, the more I build, considering how many I'm planning on building. <laughs> I think it's like 12 or so, so that's slightly worrying. Um, I might have to be saying goodbye to 60 FPS videos because it's okay when I get like 90 or so frames when I'm not recording, but it drops to like 30, 40. And yeah, as I said, last episode won't go into all of that. I don't need to. But anyway, I'm gonna... Uh, which dome do I want to build? And I forgot which one it is. Let's just go in this one. One of them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be building a sort of like farming or a livestock section. So with the cows, the pigs sheep, chicken, and rabbits, I think, was the other one I'm going to do. Um, and I got all of those guys rounded up over there somewhere. And so we'll bring them over once we've once we've built a bit here, because, yeah, nowhere ready to put them at the moment. My plan is to kind of, like, they got their own, like, mini pods. I've designed some sort of kind of thing. It, it looks kind of cool. And then, anyway, underground, there will be, like, an actual cow farm, because that's all the... I'm only going to eat steak, I don't really need anything else. And leather is the only thing I'm really going to need. So we only sort of need to be farming um, cows for those two things. So I'll have, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it, fully automatic, semi-automatic, or just like a, have them all in a pen and just kill them. Um, but yeah, that's going to be underground anyway. Uh, also, I want to quickly say this is what I've done with the um, like pathway corridor connecting it. I'm not being... Thought I was being snuck up on then. I am not. Um, I'm I'm okay with it. It's it's on a diagonal, so it's not too easy to do. It's a bit difficult, but it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Um, give me your feedback if you've got any ideas on how to change that. Let me know, but I'm okay with that at the moment, I think. But anyway, let me build uh, start building the start of this pod, and then I'll be right back with you. I thought it might be best if I do the first pod. Uh, I'm doing a lot of pods in this series, aren't I? <laughs> pods here, pods there, pods everywhere. Um, no, if I do the first one on camera, just so you guys got an idea of what it looks like, and then I can do the rest off camera. And yeah, you don't need to see it done five times over. So it's kind of like a circle-y kind of thing. I hope I might need to move it, to be honest. It may not stay here because of room-wise. I'm already thinking it's going to have to be moved. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll leave it here for now. I can always take it down. It's not exactly the biggest thing in the world. I do have a silk touch pick, so, yep, so I can break all this if I need. Uh, which I actually think I'm going to have to, because, excuse me, because I want one in the middle for the cows, so that I have like a way to go underneath, and it needs to be symmetrical, of course. We're going for like a very clean and organized type of thing here. I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing, <laughs> in all fairness. Oh god, look at all the glass. So much glass. Um, and then, eh, how do I, eh, okay. You know what, I wouldn't even do it all because it's not necessary. If I just do part of it and then it'll give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. There we go, that'll do. I need to do the front of it really, the front facade, just so it's got a bit of an image. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. And then in there obviously is where they'll stay with some grass and then we can bone meal it and maybe chuck in some leaves, maybe a bit of water possibly. Um, I do actually have an iron door which is going to go on top so they will have, you know, I know they don't really need air but that can be like a air filtration system we can pretend anyway. So yeah, imagine five of these, <laughs> uh, one here, one there, one here and one in the middle. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to move this, aren't I? I think I am. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we can maybe start bringing the animals over, possibly. Okay, I want no misbehaving here from any of you. Just attach yourself to the lead and come with me. That's all you gotta do. No one escaping, only that. There we are. See? Do no, 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 give me defense. <laughs> Pigs, run for your life. That. <laughs> in you come. Come on. Straight in. No problems. There we are. Wonderful stuff, pigs. Wonderful stuff. No, no. You're not listening. You're not. You know what? You can escape. Go on. Go on. Be free. Really, guys? Really? One at a time, man. Come on. <laughs> sort yourselves out. What the hell? <laughs> I changed my mind. You're going back in captivity. Come on. Come with me. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. 
The sun is setting. There isn't much time. Get in, get in, get in. Whew. Really? None? I opened the gate and none of you escape. Okay, you're going to get dragged out then. You've... <laughs> they're too fat. They're too fat to come... Oh no, they're fine. Calm down. Calm down, rabbits. I need you to stop. Okay, how's this going to work? Okay. Okay, I got one. And. 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 Get out the way. Why did I get the desert ones too? <laughs> no. Yes, there we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Fly straight at the camera. You guys going to cheer when I unhook you, yes? Not going to go crazy. And escape. Uh, quick, and then you. Grab my leads and go. We did it. Woohoo. All right, guys. We are done with the upstairs of here. Uh, let me just show you what I've done. So we got the sheep here with... Um, Basically, I've got a plant pot in each one and a little water thing in the uh, middle with a sea lantern below it just so it lights everything up there perfectly, actually. <laughs> uh, it doesn't drop below seven. Eight is basically all around the edge. Uh, and yeah, the plant pot's meant to be like their food bucket thingy. And then we got the chickens, the pigs, the rabbits. I got some saplings in a couple of them just because I didn't have any flowers at the moment, so... Yes, yeah, saplings are kind of being flowers at the moment. And then the cow's in the middle with a endermite in there somewhere. Where is that endermite? There was, anyway. He might have despawned now. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, and then this is what I've done with the floor. And it's not too, you know, crazy. <laughs> it's kind of similar to what's in there, minus the, uh, the colored blocks. But it's going to be kind of boring on the floor. And to be honest, I'm hoping it's not going to be too boring to look at for all of the pods, but it's, it's going to be very, uh, these color orientated. I can't say that word. But anyway, what I need to do now is figure out how on earth I'm going to get underground to build the big cow farm that we're going to do so I can actually do some farming and get myself some, some delicious steak. There is one positive to this whole base being basically all glass, and that is... Hello, skeleton. <laughs> That's I can do stuff like this. I can just look at the mobs and they can't even touch me. It's great. Anyway, though, um, I've been doing a little bit of off-cam work. I built this redstone door, which, as you can see, isn't the best. Um, you hit your head on it sometimes if you're not fast enough, but as long as you get in quickly and go down, it's absolutely fine. I'm not bothered about making it stay on longer. I tried, but then it got too complicated for my little brain. <laughs> so I gave up and stopped at this. But this leads to a hole in the ground where I'm going to build Tango Tech's cow farm that he built on, well, I say recently, fairly recently on Hermitcraft. Um, so I think the best thing to do is I'm going to build it. I think I got a big enough area dug here. And then I'll come back and show you and try and sort of explain how things work before I cover up with some stuff. Uh, but one quick thing before I go. Am I going to be able to do this? There we go. Um, I've added a beacon in here. Not only to help me with the haste to dig out that room. But I kind of want to have a beacon in every single dome or pod or whatever these things are called. I don't know why. Just I think it would be cool. And the, the I like going to the Wither Skeleton Farm that we have on the server. I don't know why, I just really enjoy it, <laughs> and I've been going there quite a lot, so I actually have quite a lot of beacons. Um, I got one there, I got three skulls, I got one beacon there, obviously one beacon in there now, and then another one over there where I do some mining every now and again. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe if I try and... I don't know how it's going to go because I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the pods, but maybe if I try and get a beacon in every single one, I think that would be kind of cool. I'm not even going to pretend... To know what's going on here because to be quite honest I don't have the slightest clue from what I can understand <laughs> of this thing I've just built um, the basics is that the cows go around this water stream and then babies get pushed into the lava <laughs> that's the very basic thing I don't know tango was speaking and I was just placing blocks of whatever he said I don't know I'm not I don't want to know how it works as long as I get my my juicy steak and my 
leather, I am all happy and good. And I hope that did nothing bad. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a skin to this. Because right now it doesn't look too fantastic. It's probably not going to look that fantastic. I'm going to be able to see some redstone and stuff. But I, c I can improve it a little further, I reckon. <laughs> Alright guys, so basically what I've done is covered all of the glass in cyan, is it cyan? Yeah, cyan terracotta. Um, it's nothing too spectacular, you can still see all the redstone, which is kind of cool, but, excuse me, um, I do and don't like it at the same time. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, it's not, <laughs> it's not on show, you have to go through like a tiny little one by one hole to get here, so, yeah, I'll leave it at this for now, but that does just leave us with one thing left to do. Which I probably should have done before I coated all of this. Ugh. Um, that is to get the cows in. Uh, so we do only need two. But I don't really know how the hell I'm going to get them down here. Yeah. Could be a bit of a problem. I can already tell this isn't going to go how I want it to. How the hell am I... <laughs> I got an idea actually. What if I... Nope, that's redstone. Uh... There's my hole. Okay, let's just try. Like, I should have brought a fence post for me so I can... Oh, yeah. How about one of you stand and the other go down? Can they fit down one wide holes? Okay. Yes! Okay, he's down. Uh, what now? Can you go down there? What if I pull you really hard? Are you down? <gasps> he is! Fantastic. Okay. Can you go down the ladder? Probably if I break the ladder. Okay, don't get in the way of this. Uh, eh. um, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to break this. This is a lot easier. Okay, don't hurt your legs. Oh my god, be careful, please. Okay, I got them in here. What do I do now? <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on now. You shouldn't mess this up. This is kind of easy. I'm talking to myself and the cow here. Okay, now we just go around here. Give him a little, little nudge. Go on, go on, go on, do it. Just do it. Fall in. Yes, we got one. Let's actually, I do want to make sure he's going to go round. <laughs> okay, oh, I thought he got stuck then. Okay, he is. So that means I've done the water streams, right? Which is fantastic. Now we just got to do that three more times. And there is the second one. Woohoo! Okay, so that means, hopefully... Oh, or the baby is gonna... Oh, I don't know how this stupid farm works. <laughs> I got... No, if I breed them up, the baby shouldn't die. Until I tell them to. Or something. Right? This cow may die. He He's fallen from up here, and now he's just balancing on my rope. I think when I drop down here, he's going to die. Yep. Well, we got two. That's enough. <laughs> So I've managed to breed up a baby as you just saw there and I'm going to stay here for a little while and hopefully breed them up a bit more and gain the population a little bit, more than three preferably. Um, and hopefully it all goes okay, hopefully no babies get killed before I want them to. I don't know, I probably should have figured out how to use the farm first. Um, but once I've done that there is one more thing I do want to do in today's episode. That's a little better I think. This is basically... Imagine you've gone into a spaceship and then they got like the, I want to call it a porch, <laughs> it's not called a porch, I don't know what it's called, the bit before you go into the main aircraft and like you, and let me place this door first, I want to place it and then be able to go in, thank you, um, and it will like decompressionize, <laughs> I don't think that's a word, um, the air and then, you know, have like the space suit and all of that and then you can go into the main thing so this is sort of like where all the you know bad stuff from the outside is I'm trying to like extracted sort of I guess I don't know I'm not a scientist I don't know what I'm talking about um so I got a bunch of stuff here in my inventory like a bunch <laughs> minus the wheat we're not using that that's for the cows um which I'm going to use and Try and make something that looks cool here. I am copying a picture because there is no way I'm going to be able to wing <laughs> interior design on camera. That's just not going to happen. Uh, so we want to do that and leave a gap there for something later. So we're going to need a pressure plate for the door. And then this 
area here is also going to be, I have to swipe to have a look at the, <laughs> have a look at what the next picture is. Um, this is to seal off from the, you know, the main pod and then this little porch pod, <laughs> I guess we'll call it the porch pod. Uh, so if we get another door here, what's going to look best? I can't put it on that, can I? No, I cannot. That's going to need to get broken. How is that going to do with light levels, actually? I think it's okay, actually. Yeah, that's fine. No sevens. We're all good. Fantastic. So if we place another iron door down there. Get F3 off my screen, please. And then just some pressure plates down. So I don't have to go pressing buttons. Obviously, I'm not going to have a pressure plate on the outside just so mobs can't get in. That would not be the best. I just have a creeper in my in my porch here. Um, so, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff here. For I haven't actually got it all. I've just realized there's one thing I'm missing. The first thing I want to place down, though, is... No, I want it on a diagonal. I'm sorry, the doors and the pressure plates are going to get really annoying. I probably should have done that last. We've got our space suit here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's an astronaut suit. Use your imagination. And then some buttons up here for no apparent reason. A tripwire hook. This kind of looks like somewhere you'd hang your coat, <laughs> but it's not. I don't know what any of these things are, really. Just let your imagination think for itself. Take take it away, imagination. Um, I have no idea what this is either. I need a lever, please. Thank you. And then just a button on the side. This could be like the computer thing to control stuff. I know it doesn't look like a computer, but... It is, okay? <laughs> Stop asking questions. Um, what else we got to do? Yeah, I have got... This. They're really loud and annoying. Um, I'll tell you what, I need something to go there, so I'll be right back. There we go. Have it on the diagonal. I think that looks a bit cooler to go over the doorway. Um, as you can see, I've got... Or might be able to hear more so and see a bit of smoke. I've got some fire underneath that block. And then if we put an iron trap door here... And it kind of looks like... This is I'm, what I'm trying to go with here, because I haven't filled, it's really difficult to see. These aren't full blocks, and also that doesn't get powered because it's not a full block, which is fantastic. I don't want that flapping around every time I walk in and out. Um, but they're only half slabs, so it's kind of like they're like pipeways going off and, you know, dispersing the air out into the out into the world. And that's like a vent for all of it to go through. I don't know. It's all imagination. <laughs> but... I think that's it. So that is a lot, lot better <laughs> than what we had previously from the inside and the outside. All right then, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I'm really happy with what we built, how it came out. Um, this is a cool little room, and obviously a whole nother pod is done. Um, I'm not too sure what we're going to do in that one as of yet. i am got some ideas, but... We'll, we'll hold them off for now. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for watching this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.